Hello friends, I'm so happy you're here learning with me today. Today we are going to talk about sentences. You don't need any materials except for your brain so you can learn, your eyes so you can look, your ears so you can listen, and your mouth so you can participate. Everything you need to learn with me today, you already have. Let's get started. What is a sentence? Well, a sentence is a group of words that forms a complete thought. Sentences have rules. Our first sentence rule is that a sentence always starts with an uppercase letter. Let's read the sentence below. I am five years old. The first word in the sentence is I. I is uppercase because it is the first word in our sentence. We'll always start our sentences with an uppercase letter. Our next sentence rule is that a sentence must end with punctuation. We have three different types of punctuation. A period, which is used for a regular sentence when we're telling someone something. A question mark for when we ask a question or an exclamation mark for when we are having strong emotions, excitement, anger, joy, we use an exclamation point. Let's read the sentences below and look at the punctuation at the end. We are at the movies. In this sentence, we're telling someone something, so we use a period. A period goes at the end of most of our sentences. Are we at the movies? With a question mark at the end. Question marks are used whenever we are asking something of someone. When we ask a question, we use a question mark. Today is my birthday. And then an exclamation point. I'm very excited that today is my birthday, so I use an exclamation point to show my excitement. A sentence has a naming part and a telling part, which makes a complete thought. Let's read the sentence below. Our teacher reads a story. In this sentence, our teacher is the naming part. It tells us who. Reads a story is the telling part. It gives us the action. Let's do some practice. We're going to look at some words that are put together and see if we have complete sentences. Are you ready? Let's begin. My dog. Is that a sentence? No. There's no uppercase letter at the beginning. There's no punctuation at the end. And it's not a complete thought. We don't know what the dog is doing, so we do not have a sentence here. My dog is small. Is this a sentence? Let's check our sentence rules. We have an uppercase letter at the beginning. We have punctuation at the end, a period. And we have a naming part and a telling part. In this sentence, my dog is the naming part. Who is small is the telling part. What? What about the dog? Did you? Is this a sentence? No, there's no uppercase letter at the beginning. There's no punctuation at the end. And it is not a complete thought. Did you finish your food? Is this a complete sentence? We have an uppercase letter at the beginning. Punctuation at the end, a question mark. And we have a naming part and a telling part. Did you, naming part, finish your food, telling part. Let's read these sentences together and find the naming part and the telling part. I like to dance. 
What's the naming part in this sentence? Good, I. I tells us who or what the sentence is about. Like to dance is the telling part. It tells us who or what the person is doing. We have two pets. Can you find the telling part in this sentence? Good, have two pets. We is the naming part. It tells us who has two pets. Thank you for learning about sentences with me today, friends. I had an awesome time learning with you and I can't wait for next time. Bye-bye.